with the number of people that are coming over from Streamlabs and now looking to use Stream Elements, I wanted to give you guys a quick overview and give you guys a warm welcome. I've been advocating people use Stream Elements for a long time. I highly recommend it. Hopefully this video will help you guys out and if you get any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But without further ado, let's get started. Taking a look here at the dashboard, this is the homepage that you will meet when you first log in. Now, this has everything you want to see from followers, subscribers, and you can sort it by month, you can put the bot into your channel, you can edit your channel title, you will see everything on this page. It works the very same way as your Twitch dashboard does, and it's got a lot of good data. Heading up here into the data and reports tab, obviously we're on the dashboard, so if we head down into here, activity feed, it's going to extend this lower half here into an activity feed, and again, it's much the same as uh, your Twitch dashboard showing you who's followed, who's subscribed, who's donated, all that kind of stuff. Your revenue history here is just a history of tips, cheers, merch sales. You can see all your revenue from all your months right here. Moving on to the next category on the left hand side, we've got streaming tools. This has the overlays gallery and the my overlays tab. First of all, we'll take a look at the my overlays because if you've imported from Streamlabs, you should be able to see your stream overlays in here and you will be able to copy the links for your browser source from here into OBS Studio. If you want to get some fancy overlays however, you can head into the overlays gallery and here is a bunch of uh, high quality designed themes that are able to be used by you guys. You can have, you can pick any of these from any of these games, they're all themed color themed, game themed, you name it, there are hundreds of them. And you've got themes, you've got alerts, and you've got widgets. So themes is like a whole package with BRB scenes, uh, start and soon screens, alerts is just the alerts on its own, and the widgets is a bunch of this extra stuff, which is like marathon timers, animated backgrounds, viewer counts, that kind of good stuff. So you're able to actually take all these widgets, put them into your own overlays, it's pretty cool. The next tab on the left hand side here is the revenue tab, which is where you guys can make all that sweet money. First tab here is your Stream Elements merch. So this is your own personalised merch store, which people, your viewers will be able to buy and sell, no, not sell, sorry, you will be able to sell, your viewers will be able to buy merchandise that you create. Super simple to uh, start up, upload your logo, get started. Under that, You've got your partnerships, so Stream Elements works with companies such as Epic and Doritos here to provide partnerships for you guys in order to make some extra cash on the side. It's much like a Twitch bounty, if you guys know what that is, and it's pretty good. Under that is SEP, which is actually what is your um, protection for donations. So it adds a second layer of security for chargebacks and whatnot. And uh, underneath that is the tipping settings. So you guys can go in here, set up, oh God, this is a monstrosity of a page. Why did I think this looked good? Uh, so this is your tips page, which people will see when they go to donate to your stream. Moving on very quickly uh, into the chatbot settings. It works much the same as the Streamlabs bot, where you can uh, enable and disable commands and create your own commands. So here we have a bunch of default commands. As you can see, moderator commands, super moderator commands, and then in here you've got custom commands, which are all your custom commands for your stream. You've got user management underneath that, which brings you back to the dashboard page for some reason. There we go, fixed it. Uh, you can see here people uh, that have been in your stream. You can VIP them. Uh, moderate them, whatnot from in here. Your timers, so that's the pop-ups for your Discord, for your Twitter, uh, to remind people to follow, subscribe to your YouTube channel. You'll find that all in the timers section. Taking a look at the module section here, you can enable and disable a lot of bot features from in here, so such as roulette, chat alerts, so you can go in and see that people, uh, people host, if people follow, the bot will say thank you. Roulette lets people bet their points. Raffles, emote pyramids, 
all the fun kind of gimmicky stuff you can enable in the bot module section. And then under spam filters is your standard um, kind of anti-spam, anti-links, anti-slurs, uh, anti-caps and spams, whatnot. You'll find that in here. Underneath the loyalty tab, we have giveaways. So if you want to host a giveaway for your stream, you can do that here. Contests. If you want to hold a contest, you can do that there. Leaderboard. This is your chats, points, leaderboards. Now, I've got a bunch of people in here. My mine's has got 202 pages worth of users and a varying degree of points. You can see that there. You can, uh, I'm pretty sure you can edit them in here. Yeah, you can go in and edit the points. Loyalty settings. This is for your um, loyalty settings is for your chat bot's currency settings. So it's different. It works differently compared to your channel point redemptions on Twitch. This is strictly for the stream elements bot points and you can set a uh, currency name, amount, how many you get for subscribing, how many for cheating or whatnot, all in this settings page right here. The stream store lets you redeem sound effects, visual effects, you can create, a, I have a bonk one here, I set up as an example. So if you want to have funny sound effects that people can redeem, you can set that up here. And people can do that. And lastly, under the other tab, we have uh, chat stats, which is a very bright white page that I strongly dislike. Uh, and you can see your chat statistics for all time in here. So you can see uh, top chatters, top emotes, top hashtags, top commands, everything in here, you can see that. So this is the media request tab. If you want to show user videos on stream, they can do that. They can donate and have media requests up. You can moderate your queue from in here. You can have moderators moderate your queue from in here. It's, uh, it's pretty good and it just adds in nicely into your OBS studio with a link. Your profile page, this is your stream elements profile page and you can customize websites, um, your links to all your social media, background picture page, whatnot, and all you would do is give somebody this stream elements profile link and they'll be able to see everything that is on there. Last but not least is your social media. You can link this with your Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Discord and Instagram. You can set it up to automatically post when you go live. If you're looking for any other settings regarding your profile and whatnot, if you head up here to the top right you've got, uh, you've got your notifications and then you have your account. So you can go to account, click on the account uh, here and then go to channel settings. So obviously you can see I've got my YouTube account linked here. You go to channel settings and then you're into your channel settings. Do not let anybody see this. This is strictly for your eyes only. There's a bunch of settings here for imports, integrations, uh, tokens and channel redeems. So you can see all of that in there. And that is it. That is your quick pit stop tour of stream elements. If you guys enjoyed it, check out my other stream elements videos. Highly recommend it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.